What really killed the dinosaurs? Of course, most people have concluded that an asteroid impact led to the extinction of 75% of life, including non-avian dinosaurs. But what if it wasn't an asteroid? For example, some people think a nearby supernova is responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs. A supernova is better known as an exploding star. If an exploding star occurred a few light years from Earth at the end of the Cretaceous period, then it would have coated the planet with the most lethal gamma ray radiation and thus killed all the dinosaurs. But if this was true, it wouldn't have only killed the dinosaurs, it would have killed all the animals altogether. Nothing could survive this kind of radiation. We wouldn't have any birds, bunnies, fish, or reindeer, so that logic doesn't really work out. Theory number two is that volcanic eruptions are what killed the dinosaurs. So about 70 million years ago, which is about five million years before the KT extinction, there was a lot of volcanic activity going on in what is present day India. These volcanoes covered about 200,000 square miles of land. Big, thick clouds of ash and debris circled and closed in on the globe. These clouds blocked sunlight, which prevented plants from growing, and with no plants growing, there's nothing for the dinosaurs to eat at least for the vegetarians or herbivores, thus killing all the dinosaurs. But as you can see, this theory doesn't really add up. I mean, it was five million years before the extinctions of the dinosaurs, so yeah, nothing else to really explore there. Theory three, the dinosaurs were producing bad eggs. There are a few theories that dinosaurs became extinct because their eggs had problems. One thought was that some dinosaurs developed a highly desirable taste for dinosaur eggs, and they basically ended up eating too many of their young faster than the time it took to breed new dino babies. Eating the young is not abnormal animal behavior, so it could have certainly contributed. But another thought is that the dino eggs evolved to become either too thin, making the embryos vulnerable, or too thick, making it difficult for them to kick out of the shell. Theory number four is that an epidemic is what wiped out all of the dinosaurs. Some argue that it was a breakout of malaria due to the symbiotic relationship developing insects had with feeding off and thereby infecting their hosts. This theory would supposedly explain why marine species like crocodiles didn't die off, as they likely weren't impacted in the same way land dinosaurs were, which is why we still have crocodiles. We also still have birds, but I guess they made it out alive in this theory too. <laughs> theory number five, and my personal favorite, is that aliens were responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs. Okay, of course this is one of them and I'm going to try to be impartial about it. It's that apparently aliens exterminated the dinosaurs to give humanity a better evolutionary chance. There's even a theory that dinosaurs were genetically engineered by aliens in the first place as an experiment. More theories as to how the aliens did it were by weather tampering, poisoning the atmosphere, a super virus, or even that the aliens were the ones who sent the asteroid that we all know and love, the reason we've all basically agreed upon as to why the dinosaurs were wiped out. One MIT professor theorized that a super hurricane, or a hypercane, could have occurred if an asteroid caused a 50 mile radius of ocean water to heat to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This would have created hypercanes so powerful that winds would have reached speeds of over 600 miles per hour. To compare, the most powerful storm ever recorded was Typhoon Tip in 1979. Wind speeds reached 190 miles per hour, which is still less than a third of the wind speed during a hypercane. So the theory is, as long as the conditions existed to create them, Hypercanes will keep forming, meaning the dinosaurs possibly contended with multiple storms like this. But the real danger comes in at the height of the storm or how tall the hypercane reaches, which would have been 40 miles into the sky. This means water would have breached the stratosphere and deteriorated the ozone, which would then have killed off any creatures that couldn't find shelter until the ozone reformed. Now, I'm not enough of a scientist to understand whether this theory could possibly hold up, but I know for sure I never want to experience a hypercane. That sounds terrifying. Theory six is continental drift 
killed the dinosaurs. So the dinosaurs are believed to have appeared during the Mesozoic era, which was 252 million years ago, roughly. Scientists have divided that era into the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. During the Triassic period, all the continents were in one huge landmass known as Pangaea. During the Jurassic period, Pangaea split in two and started drifting apart. And by the time the Cretaceous period happened, which is when the KP extinction occurred, the two continents had split into even smaller segments, starting to form the continents we know today. The drifting of the continents would have changed the habitats of the dinosaurs who lived on them quite drastically. It also would have caused a massive shift in the climates they were used to and the ocean cycles, which would have led to an increase in violent storms. Those storms would have wreaked havoc on the environment, challenging the survival of all the dinosaurs. And finally, we have the Alvarez hypothesis. The hypothesis is named after the father and son team of scientists Luis and Walter Alvarez, who first suggested it in 1980. It's the theory most of us learn about in school, that a massive asteroid struck the Earth and that's what annihilated all non-avian dinosaurs. Scientists posit that the extinction event during the Cretaceous Paleogene was caused by a large asteroid impacting the surface of the Earth about 65 million years ago. Okay, now I have a few quite silly theories for you. And one of them is that what killed the dinosaurs was dinosaur farts. Yeah, you heard that right, dinosaur farts. Researchers speculated that the dinosaurs had a large output of methane gas that would have been enough to change the global climate to the point where the dinosaurs couldn't adapt. I mean, it kind of makes sense because we already know that's happening with cow farming and how cows are the leading cause of environmental damage through their methane gas farts. So this one isn't out of the question, but I don't think that they would have farted enough to make themselves go extinct. Another silly theory is cataracts. Somebody said that basically the world got so hot, maybe from the dinosaur farts, that dinosaurs started developing cataracts to protect their eyes and that most of them went blind before they reached maturity. One more silly theory is about caterpillars causing the extinction. Basically the thought is that the caterpillars ate too many of the plants. So the dinosaurs had nothing to eat, and then the carnivorous dinosaurs didn't have any herbivores to eat, which is why they all eventually died out. I mean, that's pretty freaking ridiculous, and that would have had to be a shit ton of caterpillars. So what do you guys think? Do any of these hold up, or can we all agree that it was probably the asteroid that ended up killing the dinosaurs? I'm Lucy, and this has been another episode of Conspiracy Central.